Stage 14 of the Tour de France will be one for the Baroudeur, the French term for the fighters and adventurers who so enjoy getting away on this rolling terrain. Four categorised climbs to cover, but the stage is likely to be decided at the Côte de la Croix-Neuve just before the finish line in Mond, three kilometres at a punishing 10.2%. The riders are unanimous before the stage in saying that today's breakaway would likely go all the way. Well, nobody had forgotten the 2015 race here in Mond when Steve Cummings pipped Roman Barre and Thibaut Pino to the line. A warning for any potential winner. That made for a fast and furious start to the day's action, especially with strong crosswinds. Echelons appearing almost immediately after the official start. A few GC favourites caught out, Lander, Barde and Roglic, but they were soon safely back in the peloton as Alaphilippe looked determined to get the break established. 32 riders got away and the peloton were happy to let them go. No fewer than seven Belgians in there looking to celebrate their national holiday in style. The best placed man in the breakaway was BMC's Damiano Caruso at over 39 minutes. So the peloton were happy to let the gap soar out to over 9 minutes with 70 kilometres to go. The biggest of the 2018 Tour de France so far. On the Col de la Croix de Bertel, Gorka Izaguirre decided to shake things up by attacking from the break. The Spanish road race champion had about 30 seconds in hand by the summit. He was soon joined by Dimension Data's Tom Yalta Slagter and Trek's Jasper Steuven. With the peloton almost 20 minutes back, the winner had to come from that original break of 32, although this trio were looking to upset the odds. With Izagira and Slagter struggling to cooperate, Steuven decided to go it alone. The Belgian powering away at high speed and soon opening up a two minute gap on the rest of the break. And that caused a bit of panic. Philippe Gilbert burying himself to bring Alaphilippe back into contention. And as expected, it came down to the gruelling climb up the Coineuve. Steuven heading into it with a lead of 1 minute 40 seconds. But that gap melted away as Omar Freile and Alaphilippe set about chasing him down. The Spaniard getting to the summit in the lead and surging away to victory. His first at the Tour de France. Alaphilippe taking second ahead of Steuven. The GC favourites then making their way up the final climb. Roglic was the only man to really launch an attack. Thomas, Froome and Dumoulin went with him, but Roman Bardet losing a bit of time. The day, though, belonged to Freyle. Well, he becomes the third Spaniard to conquer La Croix-Neuve and win in Monde after Marcos Serrano and Joaquim Rodriguez. A first tour stage win for the Astana man, who celebrated his 28th birthday on Tuesday. He also won a Giro stage in 2017, as well as the mountains classification at the Vuelta in 2015 and 16. It's incredible for me. As a kid, I used to dream about this kind of victory. I worked really hard and finally I've achieved it. An incredible day and a victory on the Tour de France. There are simply no words to describe it. Faile celebrating his third win of the season after stages at the Tour de Romandie and the Tour of the Basque Country. Spare a thought though for Steuven, who put in such a sterling effort, only to fall six seconds short of victory. Geraint Thomas stays in yellow for a fourth day, matching his efforts from last year. The Welshman losing a handful of seconds to Roglic. He still leads Froome by 1.39 and Dumoulin by 1.50. There is another bumpy stage to come tomorrow as the riders cover 181.5 kilometres between Mio and Carcassonne. The Category 1 Pic de Nord could play a bit of havoc with proceedings as it proceeds a long downhill sweep into Carcassonne. The riders will then have a chance to recharge their batteries with a rest day on Monday. Thanks very much for tuning in and do join us again on Sunday.